Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video review where we talk about a teased item from the most recent um, Hasbro Pulse Marvel Legends live stream. So they did a live stream today, showed a bunch of new Marvel Legends. I've made a video for everything that they've talked about, so feel free to check out uh, any of that if you're interested. Um, but they teased a little th something at the end. Uh, they did one little teaser, which was a hand holding a yellow glove, um, which... Uh, uh, Toys 210 um, smartly recognized as probably being for Rogue, so might be a new Rogue on the way. Um, but another item that they showed uh, was this, and it's a kind of large, um, like, pole uh, with divots in it that can be connected together. Um, when I saw this, I knew exactly what this was for. And I have way major mixed feelings about this. So, first of all, this is clearly um, for Stilt, Stiltman, uh, you know, kind of a, a Spider-Man villain. Um, clearly for him, I uh, just, you know, not only does it look like his legs, but then the fact that they can connect so you can change the sizes of him, which if you don't know, that's exactly what Stiltman does. He can just, his legs just expand and he goes really tall or they go really short, you know, whatever he wants. Um, so this is clearly what uh, he's for. So my my... Um, one of my reactions is cool, you know, I love a Stiltman figure. My other reaction is, is this what they were talking about when they said that they had the biggest Build-A-Figure ever coming next year? Because um, if that's the case, I'm going to be super pissed. If it's just a skinny figure that has really long legs and that's what they're considering as the biggest and the tallest Build-A-Figure ever, I'll be so pissed. I think that that's just super stupid in my opinion. Um, you know, if he is a Build-A-Figure, I'd be okay with that. If they give him just, like, a lot of extra, you know, extendable pieces for his legs. But I, I was getting really excited about what this biggest Build-A-Figure ever is going to be. And they they specifically said biggest. They didn't say tallest. You know, if they were very clear when they said, we have the tallest Build-A-Figure coming out, that's one thing. Um, but to, to specifically say biggest Build-A-Figure, uh, that implies something very different. Uh, because even if he is taller than Fin Fein Foom, he will not be bigger than Fin Fein Foom. Uh, so that's an issue in my opinion. And who knows, I might be getting worked up about this, and this isn't what they're considering as the biggest Build-A-Figure ever. Um, but I have a strong su uh, suspicion that it is. Um, so I'll be very disappointed if that's the case. Nonetheless, though, I, I'm excited to get a Stilt Man figure. I've always been interested in Stilt Man. I, as a kid, um, one there was uh, my uncle collected um, Hero Clicks actually, and he had a Stilt Man Hero Click. And I had never heard of the character before, but I thought it was super cool because you could interchange his legs to make him taller or, or smaller. I thought it was awesome, and uh, and my uncle gave it to me, and it's I still have it. It's one of my favorite uh, Hero Clicks figures. So I have a fondness for Stilt Man, and I am excited to get a Marvel Legends version of him. Um, but I'm very disappointed uh, that this might be ruining the whole excitement for the biggest build a figure ever uh, in my my opinion. Um, so how are they going to release this? Let's just, let's kind of get off the, the subject of this possibly being the biggest, bigger, uh, biggest build a figure that they mentioned, and let's just go over the figure himself. Um, so uh, if he's not the biggest build a figure, I still think that he most likely will be a build a figure. Um, the only other way I could see them releasing him uh, is as like a deluxe figure where it's him by himself and he just comes with a lot of those kind of rods so that you can make him as tall as you want, uh, which would be interesting. Um, but if he is a build a figure, how are they going to handle his legs? Uh, because I doubt one character is just going to come with a massive like leg. Uh, what I think that they'll probably do, especially if they want to give you the ability to make him tall, is that they'll probably include a portion of the leg with every piece. So I think that what you'll get is you'll get a head uh, with somebody that also comes with a portion of a leg, you'll get a body with a portion of a leg, you'll get each arm with a portion of a leg, and then you'll get the legs themselves so that you can extend it and have basically three um, attachments to the legs uh, to make it uh, taller. So uh, that's kind of how I would envision it happening. Um, and yeah, it's interesting. So we'll have to see how it works. Um, based on just the shot in the in the video, watching him put it together, it seemed pretty sturdy. But with the screenshot, it does look a little bit wobbly. Um, so I'll be interested to see how tight it is and how uh, like sturdy it feels um, once we actually get this in person. Uh, but again, they didn't even confirm that it's Stilt Man. But let me tell you, it is Stilt Man. There's nobody else it could be. Because um, uh, and then you know he basically brought this piece out, he broke it in half, and then like used it as a back stretcher. Or no, other way around. He took two pieces out, connected them, and used it as a back stretcher. So they didn't say anything about it. It was just a little tease. And it was actually 
like an end credit tease almost because they said goodbye, they did the, the tease for the hand, it went to black and showed their logo and everything, and then this popped up for two seconds and then turned off. Um, so it's it's a quick teaser at the end. Again, I'm happy to get a Silt Man figure. I just do not hope that this is what they were referencing when they said they had the biggest build a figure ever coming. Uh, because that's incorrect. That would be the tallest build a figure. Um, so we'll have to see. And especially, you know, if, if you get just like a bunch of leg pieces, like if people start buying multiples of characters in this wave just to get a lot of leg pieces, that could be, you know, crazy. You could have um, something super tall, but who knows how sturdy it'll be. Uh, it'll be interesting, though, uh, definitely, for sure. Um, they should include army-building characters within the wave to incentivize people to get the get multiple of those characters to also get multiple of these pieces. That would, that would be interesting. But there you go. That's my thoughts on this new kind of teaser that was shown at the Hasbro Pulse live stream for Marvel Legends today. Let me know what you guys think of the teaser. Let me know what you guys think of a Marvel Legends Stiltman figure. And especially let me know what you guys will think of if this is the figure that they were referencing as the biggest figure, uh, excuse me, biggest build figure ever. So let me know uh, what you guys' thoughts are, and thanks so much for watching.